A year ago, the youth in our community had never really been introduced to the sport of lacrosse. Now, maybe they played it with friends or family who learned it elsewhere, but they never had the opportunity here in the Keys to learn what it was all about. The Key West Youth Lacrosse League has recently changed that. Jake, thank you for being with me on the show today. Thanks for having me. All right, you are part of the Youth Lacrosse League. Let's start by telling our viewers what exactly lacrosse is. Well, it's the fastest growing sport in America right now. It's a perfect combination of hockey, soccer, basketball. And it's played on a field a little bit larger than a football field, using mainly sticks, keeping the ball in the air, using the pockets, and they use a hard rubble ball to, of course, try to score goals past the uh, goaltender. Okay. Now, how long have you played the game? Uh, well, it was always part of my family, so playing, you know, even before I was 10 years old, but part of my life since age 12, high school, played club at the University of South Carolina, and then continuing coaching after playing. Okay, so this is definitely a passion of yours, isn't yes, it? Yes, this is all I love to do, mm -hmm. and it's my passion. Okay, tell me about the history of lacrosse. It's a great history. I mean, it really started with the Native Americans, everywhere from Canada all the way down to the United States, and it was played from sun up to sundown. You know, they would play with hundreds of players out there, uh, different sizes of sticks they would whittle out themselves, and, you know, there would be rituals, there would be, you know, sacrifices at some points. Um, but it, it's really been part of Native Americans, you know, community mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. And now it has grown, like you said, so big here in the States. Yep, 11, over 11% 11 growth rate annually right now. Mm -hmm. So it is the fastest growing sport, and that's especially at the youth level. It's growing at the collegiate level, it's growing at the high school level. But our focus is to really, you know, have that youth grow. Mm -hmm. And so that's exactly what you've started here in the Keys. What are the ages of youth involved? Well, it's really 6 to 15. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a 5-year-old out there playing. It's oh. pretty fun to see the little guys get going. Mm -hmm. We have some high school kids that like to do it because there is no team at Key West High School right now, mm -hmm. which hopefully is something we'll also change here in the future. But the focus is mm, 6 to 15 years old, mm -hmm. really heavy focus on the middle school level because that's where I picked it up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you get to a level of maturity where, it's the type of sport that takes some physical you know, ability in there as well. Is it dangerous? Well, I mean, the biggest thing we're trying to avoid is concussions. Mm -hmm. I mean, any physical sport, it is a physical sport, mm -hmm. especially on the guys' level. It's much more physical than it is on the girls' level. Guys are wearing helmets, shoulder pads, elbow pads, gloves. It's a body check in sport at some times as well. So it's all about preventing concussions, which goes not just to football. That's the same thing in hockey. That's the same thing in basketball right now. Mm -hmm. And now how can the community get involved if they want to be part of this? Well, we have two free clinics coming up, mm -hmm. January 13th, January 20th, at the Key West Junior Football League field right behind Poinciana Elementary. Mm -hmm. That's 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So these are free clinics just to see, hey, what is lacrosse? What is it like? And we'll give some sticks out and give them a chance to play. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, we have our website, keywestlacrosse.org, where we have an online registration set up so people don't have to come to our registration locations. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, email us if you have any questions. We'd be happy to give any information out. Okay. And now how often do you practice and have games? We're going to have a practice once a week. We're going to have a game once a week for both girls and guys. And then we're going to have an optional practice on the weekend because, you know, everybody's schedules are busy. It's right. tough to fit in that extra activity. But this is a perfect time for the youth to have the ability to introduce themselves to the sport. Mm -hmm. Lacrosse is going to grow. Again, it's the fastest growing sport in the country, but it's going to be, be here in Key West for the long term. Mm -hmm. And the kids that get to start now are the ones that are going to excel in the future. Mm -hmm. They will definitely benefit. Yeah. So get involved if you can exactly. with the fast growing sport. Thank you so much for being on the show with me this All morning. Right, and again, you. if you want more information, just check out the information that you've seen on the bottom of the screen. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.